What's up, everyone? Welcome back to a delayed episode of Boleros. <laughs> so I'm here with the Sultan of Sando, Mr. Gablim, and Maui Yap. Pasensya na, guys. Delayed ang reaction natin from that upset Sunday. Kasi medyo nag-bakasyon-bakasyon pa kaming mga Boleros, di ba? Kailangan magpahinga din. So, sorry din sa mga nag-expect. Um, but that was a crazy Sunday, no? We only had two was games. A crazy Sunday. We had two games, both were crazy, surprising results. Uh, which one do you guys want to talk about? The first game, FEU um, upsetting UE or NU demolishing, surprisingly demolishing UP, the last place, placer demolishing. Oh, it's definitely the, the second, second game, Sam. Uh, okay. That was okay. the game. When I that that was happening when I was mid flight. Mid flight. Coming back well, hindi to the nag, Philippines. Nag message ka lang, de ba? Ano nang yare? Shock na shock ka eh, de ba? <laughs> yeah. As soon as I landed, I saw your message. I mean, you 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 said, "Oh, even podcast I was like, "What? What happened?" <laughs> and then I looked at social media. I'm like, "What? What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what the hell happened in this game?" So we're definitely gonna we have we have to talk about that first because grave. Uh, I had to rewatch it because you know I was in young uh, I was in the air, but I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm sorry. Sorry, delayed. It would have been nice kung right after talaga ng podcast time. Pero wala tayong wala masasabi. Eh. Wala kayong wala masasabi. Wala tayong masasabi <laughs> kasi hindi ko na naman ng panahon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oy, uh, Maui, your initial reactions to that um, NU versus UP game. I think start pa lang, first quarter pa lang, 8 and 24 yung score. I, I couldn't believe na NU held UP to 8 points and NU scored 24 points, diba? Doing their best Kobe in- impression, 8-24. <laughs> ano yung, ano yung ano, initial reaction mo to yung game na yun? Yeah, uh, ang ganda. Ang ganda na sinabi mo, Sam, na Kobe impression. Actually, I was going to say that. I just realized that also when you mentioned yung first quarter score, uh, it's crazy, di ba? Uh, we always say, bilog ang bola, anything can happen in basketball. And uh, the bottom the bottom team, NU, uh, despite not having yung FSA, upset UP, di ba? I don't think anyone expected this. Not just... Not not that's not just ano upset UP, di ba? Convincingly, di ba? They they defeated yun. UP with yun, the blowout. Yun yung biggest surprise Maui, di ba? Kung kung makita mo ma one point win ng NU para ko, yun sa surprise na. Kung nakita ko twenty point win ng NU, like what? Chaka ano? Chaka that's from ano, di ba? From start to finish, as you mentioned, Sam. Uh, that first quarter was actually yeah. the story of the UP game, di ba? They led they led twenty four and eight. Uh, I think this is you can't you know it's very hard to say that a team can a team of 16 deep, deep as deep as UP can have uh miserable games at the same time diba? i think si Torkulas was the only one who shot tama, tama. shot good from the field uh they just didn't really bring it diba? they shot poorly from the free throw mm-hmm. line they turned the ball over 30 times diba? they had 17 field goals and 30 turnovers i i, I, I don't I can't believe it, diba? You can't... It's UP, diba? UP has been dominant, much like Lasal, diba? The only game that they didn't look dominant was the game against Lasal. Most of their games have been blowouts. Uh, especially after that game against Ateneo, diba? They, de- they demolished Ateneo, diba? Yeah. Ateneo did not have a chance and they showed that they were men versus boys. Uh, I think most of our comments during that game... Sh- or that UP was on another level. UP were men versus playing against boys. Uh, honestly, di ba, Sam, when I saw your comments, uh, I was surprised also because I didn't know that there was a UAP game during Sunday, di ba? I, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I thought I was dreaming. Hindi ko na ka get Maui para... No, no. I watched the replay. I watched the replay like you, Gab. But... Uh, I was surprised, diba? When I looked at the box score, I couldn't believe it. Totoo ba to na that, that UP was demolished like this? Uh, and you didn't even play a good game, diba? And you didn't even play... Kasi when you when you play against mm-hmm. LaSalle and UP this season, you have to play the perfect game. Similar to how UE defeated LaSalle, diba? Nung, during the first round. When you play 
when, when you play against these two juggernauts, you have to play a perfect game. But and you had 23 turnovers, diba? and you didn't shoot well from the field. So it's the game that UP had was probably the I don't know. Most of their players probably played the worst the worst game of the season, the man. Even JD Kagulangan, who's usually their the stable guy in their team, had nine turnovers, shot poorly from the field. Uncharacteristically, I think this is you know, this is a bit concerning for me, because it's 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 my initial reaction was shit. UP is UP played like this, and it's needing the final four, but when you want to beat a team like Lasalle is the hottest team in the UAP, when you want to beat a team, the defending champions. You have to play your A game, diba? Maybe this is the game that il- nilabas na nila lahat nung ano nila, lahat nung malas, lahat nung, nung sama. Uh, they have to bounce back definitely in their next. I'm scared to, to, to whoever UP is fighting next game. Gab. Yeah. Uh, actually, Maui, yung initial reaction, when I saw the score, siyempre yung score nung una ko nakita nung pag land ko sa uh, Nino Aquino International Airport score. So, akala ko, maybe NU just got hot in the second half or one quarter. Pa- I, syempre, nakita ko si Patrick Yu, hit five threes. Uh, akala ko parang they had a massive run na natambakan nila in, uh, yung the, in the second quarter because you expect UP to make a comeback. Eh. They're the comeback kings. They, they came back on multiple deficits already yeah. this season. Just look Good at the point. Adamson game. They yung they've come back multiple times throughout uh since the Bopera's all days, they've always came back. Come back yung palagi yung signature nila. But no, uh when I w- finally watched the replay, nakita ko na parang, oh, this is a, a start to finish drubbing. I so a lot more surprising that that was the case. And it wasn't now I know a lot of people are going to say it's just a bad game by UP, but uh, I do want to give some credit to the NU defense. They were switching up their defensive coverages a lot, the first half especially. Mm-hmm. And I think that threw, uh, that threw UP off their game a bit, uh, forced some turnovers, but a lot of the UP just really shot themselves in the foot for most of this game. They had runs that sila mismo yung pumapatay ng sila sunog. <laughs> yun yun eh. There was a point in the second quarter that NU was scoreless for f- six minutes. They were stuck at 24. But UP could not inch closer because they were turning the ball over, over and over again. And they were missing their free throws. Yung siguro, dahil kalabo nila yung Ateneo nung pass game, nahawa sila sa poor free throw shooting. Eh. Well, that's this. <laughs> Ateneo level. Ateneo free level. Throw per- free throw percentage. 9 out of 24. And actually, that's... 9 out of 24. They were 7 out of 20 in the first half. They missed 13 free throws in the first half. A lot of those came when they were trying to make their run in the second quarter. They just could not make their free throws. They turned the ball over so many times. And a lot of those were unforced turnovers. Just they were so sloppy. Mm-hmm. And it's 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 not every time, it's not uh, common to see a, a team, all players in the team being sloppy. All of them were sloppy. Siguro you can count si, si Aldos was the only one who was, you know, effective in his minutes. But everyone who, lahat ng hinuhugot ni Coach Gold sa bench, sloppy. And at one point, they zoomed in at Coach Gold and he was just staring at disbelief. Mga ganun lang siya. Mouth agape. And he was like, what is happening? Lahat na lang ng bunot ko sa bugang laro. <laughs> <laughs> did, 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 did they have a party the night before? Or are they going for the space jam? Diba? Oh! Oh! Space jam, yung buong UP. <laughs> if you know the reference, the diba? space jam, <laughs> buong UP. So, ayun, uh, in the second half, they tried to, but again, uh, this is, I actually thought na, si, nung nakita ko tambak, I, I thought na si Patrick Yu had a good first half. He hit maybe all of his five triples in the first half, kayo kayo natambakan. But in the it came in the third quarter, you end you end in the fourth. He hit only one three in the first half, so uh, they weren't hitting threes also in the first half. See, si, uh, NU, but UP was fouling them on threes. I think they fouled a three point shooter three times in the first half. Uh, I think Gigelo Santiago got a four point play at one point. Uh, NU was not shooting the lights out. 
'di ba? Yun ang akala ko eh. Yun ang honestly yung una akala ko when I saw si Patrick Yu was the player of the game and then uh Tabaka UP. I thought NU finally had a good shooting game, but they didn't. They a lot of their buckets again came from paint points, which has been their MO. Uh for better or for worse, that's you know, that's been their MO despite having no FSA. They la- they love to get in the paint and score at the paint. And that's they were getting into the paint. And but on the other end, UP just couldn't find any any groove whatsoever. It's it's rare to see that uh, every single one of their players <laughs> yun talaga eh, no? nagkalat. Oh, <laughs> yun, eh. Same as what Maui that, said. That is so rare. Especially for a team, uh, a team that's supposedly 16 deep. And we all call them 16 deep. Even their own fans call them 16 deep. And but all of them were, well, 15. Well, yung wala si Jan Jan. But uh, it's just baffling uh, how UP played in this game. Uh, Francis was sloppy. JD, as you said, Maui, nine turnovers. Harold <laughs> couldn't get anything to fall. Jerry Abajano had, I think, in the first half, he th- traveled three times or something for the game. I think five times, mm-hmm. four or five times total he traveled. Um, just so crazy. And uh, actually, frustrated nga ako because I, I thought that si Ma, that my boy uh, PJ Palacelo was gonna have a good game because he was actually cooking QMB at the post. He had nine the first points half. in eight minutes. Yeah, the first half. Even in the second half, when he started off, he posted up, got a hook shot over QMB, then went back to the other end and had and committed his fourth foul. You know, frustrated kay, kay PJ because you see the flashes of of mm-hmm. uh, brilliance from from him, but. He commits these stupid fouls that, that, that get him out of the game. Uh, sayang, but uh, I don't know. I think if you're UP, just throw this out of the building. Uh, I think just you're happy that you have a loss like this. Maybe something to to drive you for the next game. Uh, I think tama ba FEU ata yung next game niya or or something. FEU. I, I think yeah, I think uh, FEU. Yeah. FEU will get to them later. Because their next two games are going to be hella difficult. But um, yeah, if, you, if you're UP, just put it in the rear view mirror onto the next one. If you're NU, um, you got to build off this game. I mean, I much like Atene, May pag-asa pa. Um, may pag-asa pa. Pareho na, pareho na may, may, may pag-asa pa, Maui, but I don't think you would bet on it if, if <laughs> anyone is betting on it. Diba? So... Medyo may heal up to get to the final four, but if I were Coach Jeff, the message will be just don't don't think about the final four. One game at a time. Focus on each game yung that we're playing and try to win that game and try to take the positives and try to improve. If we're not gonna make the final four, at least we're gonna improve for next season. So just focus on the game. Yun lang siguro ang ginagawa na NU and this was a good win for them to have. Nakabawi sila. Remember, remember tinambakan sa... UP killed them in the first round. They were having a 30 point blowout. So, if you're NU and its fans, it's nice to get a win to get some revenge over UP. Yeah. Uh, Sami. Actually, yeah, Gab, maganda yung sinabi mo about Coach Jeff because I think sa post game conference, yun din ang sinabi niya. Just, just try to win every game, play every game, don't think about the final four. Uh, maybe that could be that, that could, you know, the, the pressure of could could really propel them to to somewhere else and i wanted to see rin also uh yeah yung sa up maybe just forget about this game and let this fire just grow some fire and ano diba uh get over this this loss uh use this as as motivation diba to get better diba it just shows that anything is possible in basketball diba A- any upset can happen that it's crazy I, I'm, ano, kahit ilang araw na medyo speeches pa rin ako to be honest. True. True. I think, I think you guys covered it. Yung nakagulat talaga is like everybody was um bad for UP. Kahit yung 15 deep lineup nila. But siguro before I talk about like other points na I wanna talk about, I, I do wanna shout out pala my, my sister-in-law who, I will not name her anymore, baka nahiya siya, has, uh, she's been a big fan of UP the past few seasons, nanonood yan lagi. But this season, busy siya. So she's only seen two games of UP. 
both losses by the way uh, so she watched she saw yung Lasal game talo sila sa Lasal and then sabi niya sige na nga manonood ako ng NU game para naman panalo ano tam- ano naman yan kolelat and then natambakan sa so text she was texting me all throughout um, si Gabin Maui were out so wala akong kausap so siya yung kausap ko I was just laughing at her because she decided to watch um, and <laughs> she, she she saw a shit show basically um Uh, poor performance from UP. Inalat talaga yung team. You guys talked about the turnovers er- early on. I think first quarter pa lang, dami ng masasamang, mas- malalang turnovers yung UP. Even JD was not spared from that. He led the team in turnovers actually. Um, for NU side, I think, uh, I'm not sure if you guys, you talked about Patrick Yu, but Jake Figueroa um, was very aggressive in this game. Ang dami niya mga crazy drives. Like, Meron, meron siyang isa na may spin move pa siya, fast break spin move, tapos drove to the basket, tapos may isa parang nag-euro step pa siya. Um, that, that was not his most impressive play though, Sam. You, you, did, you, did you see his block on Aldous? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, was this, uh, that was a crazy play. He was behind. Beh- yeah, hinaabol Aldous niya. Aldous stole the ball. Hinaabol yep. niya and pre- yep. blocked him. It was called a foul. I, 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 I thought that was all ball. Yeah. You could not call that a foul. Come on. Kahit I, I sinabu me, di ba? Parang, oh, wala oh. namang foul eh. <laughs> yep. Crazy block. A crazy block by Jake Figueroa. Also, he was the rim protector of this team. Diba? He was the one contesting QMV at the rim, contesting Lo- Francis Lopez, kick- contesting Aldous at the rim. He was everywhere. So, yes, UP shot themselves in the foot in this game, but do not count out the defensive performance that NU gave. Because they shout played really well to, on defense. Shout out to your boy, PJ. I think he was also... He co- blocked a couple of shots. I think he blocked JD or one of the guards of yep. UP then um, nung first half. Uh, but yeah, I think Jake Figueroa is very impressive. Kita mo yung aggressiveness niya. And... Um, If you see pinmo, de ba? You it's hard to be it's hard to be aggressive if you're playing against a big team like UP. Um, we talked about this nung Ateneo versus UST game. Ateneo was aggressive driving to the basket because they knew they didn't have Tungkara or any shot blockers inside. But dito, si F- I was impressed with Figueroa, Figueroa because you know you have the giants of UP inside, but. He kept attacking, and that's what helped them build that lead. Si Patrick Yu nung third quarter um got a bit hot nung, nung third quarter. So, I really was expecting UP to have a run, pero it didn't happen nung third quarter. I really thought by the end of this third quarter, tie na siguro or close na yung game na to. But, but that didn't happen, and... Um, kudos to Patrick Yu and to NU. They just kept on um, fighting. Uh, I, I, alam mo, I also can't believe na UP was held to less than 50 points. Parang mind-boggling yon for me. Um, I think UP had a bit of a run, if I remember correctly, nung fourth quarter. Medyo may, may pinaasa pa kaming ma- yung mga fans. Shout out to... The other guys sa NU. Um, when UP was... Yung magic bunot nung fourth quarter, si Tulabot, when UP was making that mini run, I think nag-timeout sila or something, and then Tulabot scored like five points, five straight points or something like that um, to to break that run. So those were crucial because it looked like UP was trying to... was getting inching closer. Pero... Um, Guys like Tolabot, even si even si Persiano um contributed to to the game. Uh actually you'd be surprised eh, kasi kung tingnan mo yung yung box score like si it wasn't Francisco, 'di ba? Si Francisco is a three point shooter. It wasn't him who shot well. Steve Nash had zero points. It was the other guys also who contributed um other than like Palacelo and Figueroa, Patrick Yu. It was Team, a team effort then I, I I would say. So that's something that I do appreciate from, from NU. Or that was very surprising. Uh, on UP's end, I think pinag-uusapan na nina Tyler Tio yung, yung UP. Like, um, you just have to take it game by game. Uh, forget this. Forget this. Forget this quarter. Forget this game. Move on to the next game. Yun lang dapat yung mindset ng UP. Uh, is this... My question to you guys is Uh, is there a reason for UP to panic or fluke lang talaga yung game na to? Uh, I mean, 
uh, it was a bad performance overall, diba? So, is there a reason for UP to be worried in the next few games? Nah. Or is there something wrong with the team? Or fluke nah. lang to? Gab? If it happens again, then then you would be pa- then you would panic. But uh, so eh, mababa pa yung panic meter mo, no? Yeah, just brush it off as an off game for everyone, then move on to the next. I don't, I don't think you'll see a repeat of this. If you do see a repeat of this, then we're pressing all the buttons that you that we can. We're panicking. We're being scared. We're we're getting anxious. We're doing everything. <laughs> we're doing everything if this happens again. Yeah? FPU you know, the Knicks, they were one of the hottest teams oh, in the UAAP. Oh, uh, Good point. Ako, ako, I can't say 100 percent that that you you can't panic after a loss like this. Uh it doesn't look good that that they've allowed themselves to be down big early uh, in games. Uh you can't expect them to be perfect all the time and get that magic run, deba. Right? Especially when you expect them to beat mm. Lasal in the finals. But there's some level of consistency you need to be able to compete with a team like Lasal, who has the best player in the UAAP, who has uh similar or even as strong as a strong weapon uh, as as they have, Deba. I think that's something that they have to really work on. Uh it's Good to see them. Uh, maybe it's good to see them sometimes dominate teams, but it's very important for them to establish that consistency with their last four games, diba? Uh, I think. But uh, I would say that most people, including the coaching staff, would probably say just forget about this game. Diba? We have to move on. Because that's true, diba? To be honest, this game has no effect if they get that. Final four, you know, uh, not twice to beat advantage. They just need to to win the next game and forget about this. Uh, prepare for Lasal, but it's just a bit concerning to me that this pala, this could happen. This this can happen if they have a game like this against Lasal in a best best of three finals, diba? You can't give Lasal that win, diba? You have to get every game matters, as we've seen last season, diba? Nail biter game three. You don't want them to get that advantage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Go Gab before just, just, before just last point for me. I do hope this game, game uh, kind of springboards Alistair Kulas back into the graces mm. of Coach Gold. Because if you remember Maui, uh, right? Anyway, Sammy, last season we were pretty high on Aldos. As actually we liked Aldos more than Francis last season. There was I mean, I think grabbing improvement the Aldos in terms of skill set in terms of feel for the game, in terms of basketball IQ. He was starting over Francis for majority of last season. Now, he, he, was, he was not the starter. He was just a starter by name, but, you know, the real start was Francis. But uh, in, the, in the minutes that he gave on the floor, he was pretty effective, and I was pretty impressed by Aldous Turkulas last season. This season, he's averaging, what, less than 10 minutes a game, yeah. not really getting... He's not getting Belmonte. Yeah, and that timeshare between Belmonte, Francis, and uh, Aldos uh, is kind of stealing Aldos Torkulis' thunder. I mean, I hope th- this gets him going. Uh, shout out to the guys uh, who always say that uh, all three can play together and they can transition <laughs> to the wing. Again, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Yung seasons, yeah, di ba? Yung, yeah, yung three, yeah, not, three wing lineup. Then, Hindi yan mangyayari, Maui. Kasi ang dami-daming other, other players na kailangan ilaro ng UP. So there's no, there's no way that we can see uh, two or even three of those guys on the floor together. It's really a timeshare yeah. between Francis, Aldous, and Mark. All three are really talented, but I really prefer Aldous Turkulas over Mark Belmonte. I'm sorry. I know Mark Belmonte is young. Uh, young-ish. So he still has Mas a long stable. way to go. Oh, but Mas stable think, si Turkulas. Mm-hmm. This is what I thought was when we were coming to this season that it at mostly at power forward the minutes the minutes will be between Francis and Aldo. So we're gonna sprinkle a bit a little bit of Belmonte seguro for three to four minutes per game. I did not know that it will be a uh, a timeshare between uh, Belmonte and Turkulas with majority Lopez. That's not what I saw coming into this season. I do hope that Coach Gold will go back to Aldo's. I really like him as a player, as a future prospect, as a guy who can eventually transition into wing, into into a wing player. 
because he does have the skills. I do love he's very athletic. He's a better defender than than Mark Belmonte, so that mm-hmm. that's something I love too. So I do I do hope that this springboards Aldo's back into getting bigger rotation minutes because less what he's seven minutes a game, eight minutes a game. That's not that's not good. That, that, that's not gonna cut it. That's just chunk change. Like, yeah, para nagpalit siya ng rule ni Belmonte, no? Actually, di ba, during the preseason, I remember this, Gab, when we were watching the games live, di ba? I think Phil Oil and Pinoy Liga. We were very high on Turpulas, di ba? He was very aggressive. He he had games where he was a top scorer. Maybe the injuries caught up kasi, di ba, he's been very aggressive. Uh, there were some very, I think, against Ateneo during the preseason, he had a very dangerous fall, di ba? And maybe all the injuries just caught up during the season. Uh, that's the problem. When you have a very deep team, diba, and you get injured, there you could lose minutes and not get it back anymore. Uh, but this game showed that Turkulas belongs and should probably get more opportunities moving forward. Uh, hindi naman nawawala yung effort niya, eh, diba, Mau? Uh, si Turkulas grabe din yung effort as a player. So, that's that's what they need from him, especially from this game. Siya lang yung nagpakita sa UP, um, even with the free throws. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about that other game. Uh, UE suddenly in danger of losing the third spot. And FEU. Um, inching closer to that final four uh, slot uh, tied with Adamson uh, after beating UE. So I think FEU is now four and seven. UE is uh, six and five, if six I'm not five, mistaken. Six and five. Yeah, so um, another poor start for um, the top team. UE only scored like um, nine points, I think, in the first quarter. FU was hot scoring um 20 plus points and then uh held on to to the lead kahit na may medyo late run yung UE uh initial reaction mo to this game Maui ikaw naman mauna initial reaction to this game yeah uh actually much like the other game it it, it was surprising but it wasn't as surprising diba kasi as we mentioned, uh, FEU is one of the hottest teams in the UAAP. I think they started 0 and 4. They now, they're, they're now 4 and 7. Diba? Akalain mo, tayo tatlo. Pwede pa tayo maging tama. May chance pa. That FEU could <laughs> make the go, final FU. four. Let's go, FEU! Let's go! Diba? Uh, sayang, if they just decided not to start 0 and 4, maybe they would have been the de facto number 3. 0 and 5. Diba? Uh, 0 and 5, 0 and 4. Diba? If they just decided not to start that badly. Uh, but VJ Play is breaking out. I think that's that's one of my main reactions from this game. But he just Another had good game. His, he just had his best U, uh, best game in the UAAP. Uh, Coach Sean is not shy in, in giving praise and uh, actually giving pressure to VJ Play. I think he mentioned the post game pressure niya that VJ Play is the future of Philippine basketball. If 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 I'm correct, whoa. Correct. Uh, so he's not wrong. He's he's not, not wrong. wrong. The but the ceiling of I think Sigab has mentioned this a number of times this season. VJ Pre is has actually been more impressive than rookie Kevin Chambao has been. The 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 ceiling of a VJ Pre right now is actually I'm I'm excited to see where where this goes. Uh, UE on the other hand, this is the problem. The when you rely a lot on your outside shot, the when when it get gets cold. You can lose games like this. Right? There were some games during the first round that they were able to sneak by uh with some very I would say some lucky uh lucky plays in in, in, in the clutch. But when you get when you go down early against a team like FE who plays defense, who likes to keep uh the scoring very low, it's actually good that the UE still was able to score 51 right? versus their previous game. When they scored 37, uh, I think that one of the things that I'm concerned right now is UE, uh, despite having two two very monster like games by Momoya, really struggled to to win. Uh, it's 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 concerning because teams are knocking on the door. Diba? The pressure is mounting for a team like UE. They were five in two. If 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 FEU was one of the hottest teams, UE is one of the teams that. Uh, have been really struggling in the second round. They finished the first round five and two, and they're now six and five. Diba? They could have easily gone 
got into the final four, diba? we talk about the magic number of eight games. Now they're still at six wins right now. Uh, it's concerning, and they will be facing some of the teams that want to knock the final four. I think the main reaction ko talaga sa game is I'm happy that we're seeing this. Diba? We've said this during the, the preseason that I'm not happy. To what are you, Ipats? I'm not happy that you lost, diba? just to be clear. I'm happy that there's some sort of parity when you talk about that uh, position three to eight, diba? Anything can still happen. And you can still make it to the Final Four. Ateneo can still make it to the Final Four. And it's because of games like this, diba? Upsets like this. Anything, any team from, from the bottom can still make the Final Four. Actually, I was expecting UE the second round to just pull away, diba? I think a lot of people expected us after their convincing wins. Uh, it, it's a bit surprising that much like UST, they are now in danger. They are now, they could still lose that final four slot. Diba? Uh, but uh, that's, the, that's, that's, that's the UAEP. Diba? If FEU can go 0 and 5, what's stopping UE from also going, performing that poorly in the second round? Uh, I'm excited how to, uh, I'm excited to see how they bounce back. Now they really have to bounce back. They cannot take their next game lightly because it's danger time. Yeah. Danger time indeed. Uh, ako, I did say this in our past couple of episodes that UE is prone to droughts. You know, we saw it in the first ha- in the first round. They have scoring droughts they, where they can't shoot the ball. I just did not know that their scoring drought will last for eight quarters. <laughs> Because <laughs> for the second the straight game, game huh? they've hmm. shot under 30% from the field. They were so miserable. In that Adamson game, they could not hit anything. In this game, they could they still could not hit anything. Uh in the end, Precious just tried to carry them. Uh ju- ju- just tried to carry them all the way. But you have to hand it to Mo Honate standing his ground against Precious Momo Way. In the end, had had a little dust up with with pressures even, yeah. But uh, as you said, Sam, uh, UE started off really cold, and FEU started off really hot. <laughs> I think they shot ninety percent in the first quarter, or or eighty plus percent in the first quarter. That's rare. <laughs> if you've watched FEU this season, it's rare they go on a hot streak. They they rarely do. They they have, they have very low scoring games, but uh, I would like to give a shout out to a guy who I think goes underappreciated and even hated upon by a lot of fans, even FEU ones. Royce Alforque. I think this run by FEU, this uh, winning run that they've been on, started when Coach Sean Chambers put Royce Alforque into the starting lineup. Uh, co- correct me on that, but I do remember that. that in this, Start of the second round, or even towards the end of the first round, he started Royce over Jan Ray, and that and, and that's been a thing ever since. And it's resulted to, I think, a lot more pace, a lot more uh, stability in the backcourt. A lot more, he, Royce is not the guy who would really look for his own shot. He looks to set up other people. Now he does make some really dumb plays sometimes, and it causes headaches to a lot of FEU fans. Shout out to you, Jeffrey. I know, ikaw, palagi mong minamata tong si, si Royce eh, pang may ginagawang bobo eh. Pero, <laughs> nag-isig na. Pero, nag-isig pero na si Royce. Na. He's, he's been really good. He's been playmaking. He's he's been setting up his teammates. He's been, set, he's been setting up Mo. Uh, I I really like how he's played now. He is prone, yes, to the occasional dumb play, but uh, he... He's been good for this team. And, it, and yes, it has slowed down a bit to the Janre Pasaol uh, rookie season, the, the breakout kuno for Janre, but I think it's for the better. Um, and that was just the story of this game. FE was the more stable team. There was a point in this game, I think in the third quarter, the second quarter, where they struggled. On offense, they couldn't get any to fall, but the problem was UE just could not hit anything. They had a ton of shots at the rim, and, and it goes to show, and it, and th- this moves on to my next point of another guy we have to shout out. He only scored three points, but I thought Mo Konate was 
bringing it on the defensive end. He contested nearly every shot at the rim. UE had a ton of lay looks at the rim, layups that were short. Even Precious had a ton of missed shots. He just could not get over the defense of Mo Konate for the majority of this game, except towards the end where he tried to carry the team. But uh, Mo, uh, even when he's not scoring big or rebounding as big, I mean, he only had, he only had 11 rebounds. He gets he, he, he usually gets more than that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. even when he's not doing those things, he's still making a big impact in, in the game. Now, the... The story of this game, of course, is VJ Pre, our pare, si VJ Pre. Uh, but, and he was. VJ Pre, come he to was... the show. VJ Pre, come on. Come on. One turnover lang. One turnover lang. Over lang over yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's been my knock on him the, since oh, the first uh, round. And, and, and even in the early first round, he is the, the leading guy on this team. Turnover leader. Turnovers. Yeah. But. I, you, you know what I really like about it is that he was scoring off the system of cuts. He wasn't just going one-on-one -on -one and going to the rim. A lot of his um, points were off dishes, off back cuts, off <coughs> um, baseline actions. Just within the system, not nothing too fancy, but he got it. Uh, offensive rebounds were there too. He flexed on pressures also. Not in front of him, uh, unlike uh, Amotong Kara, but he did turn away and then flex and shout it. Uh, but he did. And you have to love the development. Now, uh, game is slowing down. Really, the game is slowing down for him. He's getting it. For rookies, it, it takes time. We've said this now, Sami. It takes time for rookies to adjust to the seniors level, especially a teenager like VJ Pre. He has to get used to it. At some point, and you can see it right now. He's uh, he's very patient, uh, mid range pull up. Uh, he doesn't force things much anymore. Um, I like what I see. Um, Coach Sean Chambers is not wrong when he said that VJ Pura is the future of Philippine basketball. Because if you look at the guy who's 6'4, 6 6 doing these kind of things, not just scoring in the paint, scoring from mid range pull ups, scores. Scoring from three point range, uh, becoming the point guard at times. He was bringing up the ball for some points at this game. Um, the skill set is just wild. It's just wild for 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 VJ Pre. Um, that's it. I I, I I don't know what else to say. I, I don't want to renegade on my statement. I think on our swag sucks and sublime. I did say na sublay na si VJ Pre should be the the rookie of the year at that Yo. point in time. At that point in time, over Jared Bahai, but if he continues to play like Lock this, I am all in on the VJ Pre room. Locking it in. Locking it in. Locking it in. in. If, he, no. if he continues to play like this, there, there is no catching up to him. He's just too good right now. I do hope. Now, their next games are. Gonna La Salle pala. La Salle pala tomorrow. UP, Maui. La Salle and UP yeah. are going to be their next two games. So. Hold off muna tayo on FEU to the Final Four uh, hopes. And, mabigat, uh, mabigat. Oh, medyo, mabig medyo mabigat ang schedule nila the next two games. Uh, again, no, we keep on saying that those two teams are scheduled losses for these other teams. But if NU can do it, uh, maybe. But, you know, I'm not betting on it uh, right, right, right after UP just got smacked and LaSalle playing kick basketball right now. I'm not betting on FEU, but who knows? Who knows? I will be watching, uh, but uh, as much as I want FEU to prove us right, medyo mahirap isipin na talunin nila either one of Lasal or UP. Maybe, but... Uh, hey, and you, and you won against UP. You never and, know. We think both is crazy. Maybe one. You one upset. You think you is gonna get thirty turnovers again? I don't think so, man. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Ano pala? It's ano pala? You it's UP versus Lasal pala. UP we were we were mistaken. UP's next game is actually against Lasal pala this this, this coming Sunday. weekend. Yeah. This Sunday. Ah, all right, all right, all right, all right. So the, they do have a break, FEU, be, be, you before uh, they face Lasal UP. and then Ateneo and then UP. So may may break sa gitna. But the yung Ateneo game is also big for them, ba? Kasi they're battling Ateneo for that ano, for that final four spot. 
Um, anyway, uh, in sa, sa game na to, I think like um, na mention yun na lahat. VJ Pre was uh, another amazing game for VJ Pre. Actually, Jorik um, wasn't that uh, good. I, I, he was okay. He was the second leading scorer, naman. But um, I na mention madin si Royce Alforque. The guy that I do want to mention, he didn't have a amazing, amazing game. But uh, I think he really adds a different um, dynamic or dimension to uh, to FEU. Si Cholo Ano Nuevo. Um, I think this is one of the times na he got uh, more than 20 minutes. Uh, in the past few games, medyo limited pa lang yung minutes niya. He's starting to get more minutes, probably starting to get healthier. And... Um, it adds a different dynamic to the team. Eh. Kasi, um, dimension to the team. Kasi very dynamic player si Anyo Nuevo, di ba? Uh, he may times na linaru ni Coach Sean Chambers, si Konate, si Pre, and si Anyo Nuevo all at the same time. Uh, that's a very big lineup versus like last year, si Anyo Nuevo na yung center ng, <laughs> ng FEU, di ba? So, grabe, uh, grabe yung difference from last year versus this year. Uh, he would also play make. I think that's also one of the reasons why nabawasan din yung um, turnovers ni VJ Pre kasi you now have another guy that can play make. Actually, si Cholo Anyonuevo had six turnovers. He was the leading <laughs> leader of turnovers for the team this in this game. But I think that's also a function of he was um, bringing up the ball a lot or play making a lot. Uh, so it wasn't the best game from him but I like na there's this other guy that Yun nga, makes this t- team look very different. Uh, I li- we've liked Rochen Montemayor, Gab, but he lost yung minutes niya to Cholo Anyo Nuevo, which I think is fine. I think okay din sila to switch with VJ Pre. Iba iba naman sila ng ano eh, ng um, uh, uh, contributions, ba? Si Anyo Nuevo is not a three point shooter. Si Montemayor is supposedly a better three point shooter, but he hasn't been making it the past games. Uh, so that's one thing that I I liked from from this game seeing Cholo Anyonuevo finally get sort of get his groove and if he can um maintain that or be more consistent in the next few games I think FEU is definitely dangerous kasi alam na natin yung iba eh diba si Konate sabi mo gab the most consistent FEU player uh VJ Pre and Jorik Bautista will get you buckets um, they will they will carry the scoring load. Um, Royce Alforque has been stable, has stabilized. Uh, John Ray has been better off the bench then, at least offense off the bench. So, san pa sila kukuha, diba? Yung problem nila is they have a very short rotation. But with a guy like Cholo Anyonuevo getting healthy, uh, hopefully um, he contributes more to the team. On the other end, um, kung medyo nagpipick up na yung players in from FEU. I think yun naman yung naging problem sa UE, di ba? Nag, nawala lahat ng ibang players. You have your usual. Precious Momo eh. Sabi mo Maui has led the team in scoring the past two games. Uh, the other guys have sort of disappeared. One guy, kung meron na akong bolero of the week, which we'll talk about our ballers of the week later. Kung meron na akong bolero of the week, it has to be... Ethan or Bolero of the past two games, yeah, just be Ethan Galang. He was so good nung first half. He was hot nung first half. Um, four point three point uh, Steph Curry range, shooting three point shots from Steph Curry range. Yung four point line ng Araneta. The first past half two or games. First round? No, uh, no, no, first round, no first round. The past two games, O of eleven. Hasn't hit a single field goal in the past two games. Sa game na to, 0 of 7 in the recent in the 37 point performance, 0 of 4. Um has disappeared. He's, he was one of the guys that was a big surprise for me for you during that hot 5 and 2 start. And um ngayong th- they're losing, he has um disappeared. So I, I don't know what's happening. Uh, other guys, Gerard Wilson, we really loved the contributions niya off the bench. Um, helped them win a couple of games in the first round. Uh, did not score in this game. So, uh, I, I don't know what's happening to UE, but I don't think they're selling. Naman. I don't think they're selling. That's a crazy na... statement. <laughs> oh my God. 
Stop it! 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 Stop Lasal. Or, yeah. uh, uh, oh, Or, why would they yeah. want to avoid Lasal eh, by going out to number four? Lasal is number one. Oh, nga, hindi, hindi ko din get uh, who were they avoiding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, and they're not secured of the final four. Why would they yeah, uh, intentionally yeah. lose? This early, di ba? When they're not yet clinch, you don't know what's gonna happen. Ah, tama. Kasi, they want to avoid UP ata. Kaya gusto daw nila maging number four. Kasi yung Lasal, may... kaya daw ni Coach Jack. Yun daw yung... <laughs> kaya daw binibenta nila yung laro nila. That's Sindikato. Crazy. So, That's crazy. what a crazy state. What, what, what crazy sentiments are those, man? Gra- grabe yun yung last game. If you're talking about that kind of sentiment, the UP din nagbenta, di ba? Kasi everyone played oh, miserably. Yeah. But it so, just happens. In basketball, yeah. it happens. Yeah. Ah... Uh, Na, na mention mo mao yung three point shooting has disappeared for UE. Actually, kung tingnan mo yung box score, tas tingnan mo yung FEU, 5 of 21 from 3. Sabihin mo na ang lala ang sama ng shooting ng FEU, pero UE was worse. A 3 of 22. So, uh, what happened to the three point shooting? This is kind of an ugly game. So, uh, hindi din siya masaya, di ba? Basta Ay, FEU, na... basta FEU na dyan, di ba? <laughs> basta FEU, grind it FEU out. FEU Adamson, it's always Your grind out. Grind out game. Uh, anything else that you guys want to, uh, ako, ako, to add? Uh, there was a fe- very funny moment in the fourth quarter of this game when Precious scored on Mo Konate. He gave the two small, pero hindi yung useful na two small. Sabi niya ganun. Too small. <laughs> loko loko si Momo Way. Loko loko. Loko loko si Momo Way. And the guys calling the game, I think it was Jara Lim. Uh, yeah. I-, I think they were also laughing at time because <laughs> to those who know, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Oh, 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 you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> That's gotta be one of the best moments of the season. Fresh Mo, giving this to Mo Konate. <laughs> I don't know si KD. I think KD did that to Doncic. Yeah, he did, did, he did. Gawin and then si KD kay Doncic. I don't know talaga si KD, si Precious. Um, yeah, funny moment yun. Funny moment yun. Okay. Um, moving on. Uh, I think it's time for us to move on to our next segment. Uh, in this segment. So, let's talk about our Gatorade Ballers of the Week. Actually, it's a Ballers of the Sunday kasi Sunday lang naman yung games natin. So, in this segment, Gab, Maui, and I will pick a player, coach, team, or any X-factor that helped propel their team to victory just like how Gatorade can fuel you forward. So, ayan, ayan, with our Gatorade merch. So, you guys have a chance to win a Gatorade squeeze bottle or one of the shirts from Gatorade, that gray, gray Gatorade shirt, very comfortable. Uh, you just have to share your hashtag Gatorade Baller of the Week in the comment section below. We'll, send the inst- we'll pin the instructions para you guys can join in. Let's get started. Maui, sino ang Gatorade, hashtag Gatorade Baller of the Week, weekend or of Sunday mo? Ibibigay ko na, ibibigay ko na sa... FEU Tamaraus and QBJ Pre kasi this might be the last chance to to give it uh, as we <laughs> mentioned the, as we mentioned they are going up against La Salle and, and the UP sa last few games nila I don't know maybe anything can happen maybe they could upset maybe VJ Pre goes Her- Herculean and goes crazy and defeats one of these teams and propels FEU to the final four but I have to give it to them, di ba? Uh, they started out pretty badly this season. 0 and 4, I think, or 0 and 5. Yet, they're still in the final four race right now, di ba? Uh, they have really bounced back this season. I think most of our FPU fans, including uh, si Jeffrey, who, who got sh- shout out kanina, praise that they don't start 0 and 5 next season, di ba? This is their potential. They're showing their potential. They're showing what they're capable of. Uh, I think the ceiling of FEU is very high. Uh, 
I would love to see them have a good season, start to the season. But I'm excited to see how they fare against UP in Lasalle. If they don't win, I I hope they they have a great good game. They'll able to keep it close. Uh, it's all about building, 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 building for the future for FEU. And I think they've shown enough that they have the blocks to be able to compete in the future. I'm just happy that they are finally showing us that they are a team. Diba? Kasi the three of us look like huge boleros for, for choosing them to, to, to be one of the top four teams during the start of the season. Uh, but they started out pretty, pretty badly. Uh, I'm excited to see si VJ Pre. I hope he gets yung trainer ni KQ. I hope it doesn't transfer teams. Sayang eligibility and I think FEU is the right place for him. Kasi I've been reading online, a lot of people are saying bagay si VJ Pre sa, sa Lasal when KQ leaves. But uh, I think that VJ Pre has to go to the same ano, same trainers diba? uh, as Kevin Chambao. Uh, much like the other wing players who are transitioning to play as guards, diba? as guard wings. I'm excited to see. Diba? Si, si Gab is one of the biggest fans of VJ Pre. We are one of the biggest fans of VJ Pre. I hope he continues to develop in much like KQ shows a different side of fame shows an increased bag in year two. I'm also FEU themed in this Baller of the Week segment, but I'm going to give it to Coach Sean Chambers because I really loved how they were playing against UE. The sets that they were running, a lot of motion, a lot of movement, a lot of off-ball movement, which we didn't see the past few seasons under Coach, Na, uh, under Coach Olsen and, and under Coach Denok. A lot of isolation basketball, a lot of pick and roll. But as I said, si VJ Pre, yeah, he scored 20 points, but those were off the system. Those were off cuts being made. Those were off the movement of his teammates, uh, passes from his teammates. Uh, I do, I just love it. Um, aganda, no? uh, it's very different from how they were playing in the first round, where they were very sloppy and they were de defaulting to isolation basketball eventually. But now, I think they're starting to get a grasp of, of Sean Chambers' system, how, how Sean Chambers he wants them to play. Uh, ang ganda, ang ganda na movement. Uh, if, if you're a fan of watching uh, the ball move and watching players move without the ball, I think you have to watch FEU now. Very, very stark difference from how they started this season, especially, and very, even greater difference to how they played in the past few seasons. So uh, it's great. I hope I, parang yung sabi ni mami, I do hope they ride this success. Again, final four. I don't think is in the bag for them. UP and Lasal. That's a tough task. Tough task talaga. I I don't think it's in the bag for them for this season. But for next season, if they can get even one to two big pieces from their juniors program to come up, maybe a Kirby Mangkopa to finally make his appearance, maybe uh. You're one of si Dwayne Miranda, oh, who's a point guard, and any one of those players from their juniors division who can be, be rotation guys, just deepen the rotation. As Asami as said, they are pretty shallow, uh, they're very top heavy. Uh, just look at the minutes that their main guys play <laughs> all the time. Si Konate, si Konate. BJ, Prince Jorik, <laughs> grab your minutes in Lalaro nila. So, I do hope they get more depth from their juniors division. So, you and uh, if Coach Sean Chambers is able to get them what the five wins, is he a contender for Coach of the Year? Mm. <laughs> Final four, Muna Gab. Final four. Five wins, bro. Five <laughs> wins. <laughs> Coming from zero and five, eh? No, not bad. Oh, hey. Sige. Ako naman. So since you guys went with FU, I'm going with NU. So for my hashtag Gatorade Ballers of the Week, I'm gonna pick uh two players from NU and si si Coach Jeff Napa. So first player, the obvious one, Patrick Yu. Uh we like this guy. Magandang length niya, good ball handler, my three point shooting, uh defensive din siya. But for some reason this season 
it's been a bad season for him. Actually, non-existent, I would say. Yun yun. Zero siya. Um, you don't really feel him in games or um, he hasn't really contributed a lot versus like in the previous seasons wherein um, he's been a consistent uh, guy off the bench of NU or sometimes starter nga. So, kahit, and kahit siya aminado siya dun, I think nung in-interview siya, sinabi niya na it hasn't been a good season for me. It's his last season, by the way. So, uh, last year na niya. So, shout out to him, di ba? For finally breaking out this season. Uh, it's It bodes well for his future career then after um, the UAAP. Uh, this is sort of a tryout for him to f- to the professional leagues. And I hope he does get, um, get into a professional uh, league because I think he's a very solid contributor and maganda nga yung length niyan si Patrick Yu so um, he's my one of my Gatorade ballers of the week um, the other guys siguro dun sa mga other guys that I mentioned kanina I also wanna shout out Jelo Santiago um, actually this guy played a lot nung preseason I I think he's an underrated player gusto din siya ni coach Jeff I think because he is a two-way player in the sense na 3 and D type of player siya diba medyo maliit lang kasi siya but he's actually a pesky defender and a decent three-point shooter so in this game I think he hit like a end one four-point player or something like that um contributed to uh the first to NU in especially in the first half when they were making that run and uh did his best defensively uh limiting yung UP the UP guards then going up against the top UP guards so i think Jello Santiago got ve- gave NU very good minutes uh and lastly i do want to shout out coach Jeff Napa uh, the guy who cried after a win um he's been struggling this this season and we've talked about him possibly being on the hot seat it's been that bad for NU i think even NU fans sa mga comment section natin um sort of medyo na frustrate din kay coach Jeff Napa one of the guys na gab when we talked about sometimes can be inflexible uh or hindi siya as flexible diba as like a uh, coach Sean Chambers Pero this was a big win. Sabi nga natin, the, uh, the bigger upset nung, nung Sunday. And if they end up as the last place team, if this ends up being their last win, they lose the rest of their games, at least he has something to to hold on to kapag uh, i-interview siya ng NU, uh, ng NU management if they decide to keep him or not. Uh, he... This sort of shows na and you also has potential and um they can compete even without an FSA. It's been a bad season for NU, but uh I think this is a good way to sort of uh end the season. Sana it's not their last win. I'm sure that's what they're hoping for, but uh still a very, very big win. So shout out to Coach Jeff Napa and the NU Bulldogs. Okay. That's it for our hashtag Gatorade Ballers of the Week. Don't forget, comment your Gatorade Ballers of the Week for a chance to win Gatorade merch. Uh, share your other thoughts below on that upset weekend. Um, let us know what you're looking forward to on the games tomorrow. We do have games tomorrow. Reminder lang to Baka everyone. Baka na naman bukas. Baka makalimutan na naman ang mga tao. Mawi, gab, may game bukas. Reminder to myself also. Share with your friends. Comment. Subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.